Good afternoon, traders. It's Bill Baruch with Blue Line Futures, and it's your midday market minutes. You know, we got a lot of volatility today. The S&P yesterday got crushed, and it's been trying to base. Last night's low, 26.17, it's been able to hold that. We've rallied all the way back to about, oh, just above 26.50 on the open, and the consolidation through the session, you know, it went lower than we wanted to see. 26.37 was the level that we said stays above this European close would help the market move well. And, you know, it went down when 20 about 26 26 and it retested that a couple times but but what happened here now is president trump signing a spending bill and it's reinvigorating this market we have some resistance about 26 52 and against that high this morning with 26 53 that was intraday high so we had a trend line dating all the way back to yesterday yet early yesterday morning so it, this trend line if we can get out above there you're gonna start to see some more buying but ultimately what we're starting to see is, is a little bit of some bottoming action and it's good to see this ahead of the weekend you know if we're selling off into the weekend it's going to start next week off on poor footing you know we've been upbeat on this market yeah we neutralized our bias because we closed below 26.90 yesterday but we continue to be upbeat we've been saying get out from the forest to see the trees this market is still in a very big uptrend and the fact that everybody's freaking out and everybody's getting bearish this gets us excited moving on though crude oil that's another reason why we're excited well you know what back to that real quick you have leaders now you have both Boeing leading, you have Exxon leading, you have some industrial goods, you have basic materials of energy, they're all leading this market right now, or they can lead this market right now. That's a positive. Even though the tech isn't doing that well, we have some positive stuff going on. And now moving on to crude oil. And that's one of the reasons why we like the market. Crude has a lot of upside. $66 is a barrier. We haven't been able to bust out above there. But listen, we think it's going to come. We've been talking about this. We've been bullish crude oil since early part of last week. And this has a lot more room. If it starts getting above 66 he had the previous in the previous front month highs are 66 66 and we have a major three star resistance at 66 87 but we think if it gets out above that may high 6602 it's going to start feeding on itself and that major three star resistance matters less and less and we're targeting 70 dollars in crude oil you also have gold moving great the metals are performing well silver is actually coming back alive from early yesterday gold testing into trendline resistance at 1351 13 to 55 that area is our big level we get out above there you're going to see another 1%, but you have that, that 1367, 1370 area. It's going to be tough to get out above. We remain long-term bullish gold. We love gold now. We love it in the long term, and we've always loved it. So we think this thing is going to get out above 1400 in the next three to six months, but that could happen a lot sooner with the type of developments we're seeing right now. Give us a call. We're here to talk about all of this. 312-278-0500. Email us, info at bluelinefutures.com. You can sign up for a free trial of our research on our website as well. Remember, future trading involves substantial risk of loss and it's not suitable for all investors. Thanks a lot.